We've reached the end of the elimination round ng inyong UCBL Season 3 at dalawang koponan pa rin ang maghahanap. Both of them looking to end their season strong. LPU Batangas just missing the Final Four at ang St. Joseph College of Bulacan still looking for their first win and hoping na lahat ng mga natutunan nila dito sa UCBL Season 3 ends up with a victory in their last chance. Ganang araw po sa inyo, Judd Sulit and Jai Reyes. Joining us later will be Ms. Dani Nakpil. And what will be the last game of the elimination round of UCPL Season 3? Oh, this is the beauty of college basketball. That, you know, even though itong dalawang teams, they're not gonna make it to the Final Four. Pero itong game na to, it's a chance for them to build on for the next year. End on a positive note and hopefully bring this to all their other leagues. That's right. Silipin natin yung naging season netong St. Joseph College of Bulacan. In their last game, they suffered their 11th loss in as many games. And again, it has been the same story, no? Naiiwan, natatambakan, turnovers, their biggest problem. At ito, Jay, ang huli nilang pagkakataon na makakuha ng panalo in the UCBL. Yes, for this school, you know, first of all, hats off to them. All their players are from Bulacan. They're really a homegrown team. Yes, they do have problems in terms of terms of turnovers and giving up a lot of easy points for, for their opponents. But for this game, they just have to bring out the energy and hopefully makasungkit sila ng isang panalo dito sa UCBL. Alam mo, unti-unti naman nakikita natin yung mga improvements sa players nila as individuals and as a squad. In their last game, nag-step up isang bagong pangalan, John Paolo Adriano, who was very silent in their first 10 games. But look at the eruption na nakuha niya against PCU Desmarinas. Oh, ito talaga yung maganda at talaga inaasahan natin for, from players in the college level. You know, you can you can struggle the whole tournament, but kung gusto mo lang talaga mag-improve, just keep on working hard. Eventually, you're gonna be a better player. At nakita, nabanggit na nga natin yung improvement ng St. Joseph. Kaya naman ng LPU Batangas, they cannot take their opponents today lightly. And Lowell Castro cannot have the same slump na nakuha niya in their last game. It was his worst of the UCBL Season 3 and obviously he wants to be better sa kanilang laro ngayon. Yes, of course. As a player, every time you have a bad game, you're itching to get on the next game so you can bounce back. And ito, mukhang nag-enjoy na ng mga taga-LPU and they can't wait for this game to start. And niya, makita niya yung numero ni Noel Castro against Diliman. Was held to season lows. Four rebounds. Tapos yung field goal shooting niya was simply not there. Yes. One out of 11 from the field. Wala pa nga dyan yung five turnovers sa stat line niya. Definitely. Kung ganyan kasama yung laro mo, 9% from the field goal, of course, kailangan mo bumawi for this game. But he needs to stay aggressive for him to have a good game. Let's now meet the starters both for St. Joseph and LVU. Forward number 34, Christian Alamo. And the other forward number 14, Wayland Villanueva. The head coach of the Lyceum Batangas Pirates is Gino Giovanni. And now starting for the St. Joseph College of Bulacan, Toros. At guard number 11, Ellie Leguin. The other guard number 4, Richard Salarza. Center number 3, J.R. Esteban. Forward number 15, J.P. Adriano. And the other forward number 16, Glenn Bernal. The head coach of the SJCB Toros is Noel Leguin. St. Joseph College of Bulacan behind their head coach looking for a win here today. And of course, our officials on your screens, Manny Mendoza and the rest of the crew Si Adriano has earned the starting spot after his outburst in their last game. So now, good start right away from St. Joseph. Stealing the jump ball right there. And good decision. Wala silang good shot. They set up their offense. Adriano agad, bumitaw. It's a miss for him to open up the game. But you can tell agad. No? I know it's just one shot, but you can feel the confidence na nakuha niya in his last game. Pati nakakatuwa talaga kay St. Joseph. Dahil, you know, umpisa pa lang ng game. We know that they're, they have no wins in this tournament yet, but they're still putting on the pressure defense. They're, they're still being aggressive. That's the first bucket of the game. Binigay ni Padilla. We also have to give credit dito sa St. Joseph because hindi sila na contenta. They are champions back in Bulacan. And sabi nga nila, no, the, the only way to improve is not to settle for where you are. You, if you're 
a big fish in a small pond, you gotta try the big ocean as well. Yes, tama ka dyan, dyan. And for them, you know, for their players, it's just, you know, for them to improve on and on. Kahit ano pang liga yan, kahit mga pangano pa, kahit wala ka pala, it's important the experience na nagigain ng mga players mo to be better in the future. Five to nothing start para sa mga pirata. Leguin, swinging it out to Salazar. Labas ulit kay Leguin, they're swinging it from outside. Bumukas yung kanto, Esteban getting the rebound. Ganda oh, kita espasyo, but it was taken away. Ganda ng ball movement na si Joseph. Yun nga lang, hindi nila nasusot yung mga tira nila. On the other hand, itong LPU, one or two tries to crack at the field goal, score agad sila. Cross-court pass, Salazar. When attack was fouled, at alam mo ang kukuha doon ng personal. What's one thing you can say na magandang nakita natin from St. Joseph throughout the entire tournament? It's just their enthusiasm. For them showing up each and every game, it's already a big deal for them. Alam nila yung experience, priceless talaga. Kahit manalo, matalo, they're happy to be here. So yun, ako talaga doon ako nakutuwa for this school. Tsaka imagine nun, oh, ang gagaling sila sa Bulacan. And we play our games lagi dito sa Olivares College Gym. In Sukat Paranaque. Biyahe pa lang. Warm up and yeah. warm up na sila. <laughs> on the other hand, ito LPU Batangas. This is, they, they already have a good basketball program in place. Not just for their branch of school, pero sa lahat ng LPU throughout the Philippines. So ito talaga magandang stepping stone for them to end the season on a positive note and be better in the next year. That's right, no? And yung mother school or mother campus ng LPU, of course, plays in the NCH, came up short against San Beda in the finals. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Maxell Power Tools. Salazar trying to open up the defense. Wala nakuha. Padilla leading the break. Asa sana kay Sebastian. It was interrupted by Leguin. And speaking of mga nakita nating magagandang performance from St. Joseph, Eli Leguin has Tama. start for them. <laughs> Ito, <laughs> isa sa mga favorite players ko dito sa UCB. Dahil kahit siya yung pinakamaliit on the court, na kahit na dihado ang kanyang team, always go hard each and every game. And he scored that terrific, you know, 30-point ball game in one of their games. I was just about to say that, no? And again, that's testament to the improvement, to the competitiveness na dinala pa rin ng St. Joseph into the UCBL. Here they are, just down by three points. Like Guen says, relax lang muna tayo. Set up ng maayos. Bernal providing the pick. He slips down to the baseline. Pinigay sa kanya ni Liguin. And Bernal was able to carve out some space. Uses his muscle to score. And big, big difference. From the start of the tournament, nakita natin yung growth nito sa St. Joseph talaga. Dati, bara-bara lang yung laro nila. They wouldn't set up on offense. Just keep on jacking up shots. Pero ngayon, they already have a presence of mind. Nahatakin yung bola. Mag-set ng kanilang offense. And an end one play right there for Bernal. Nakikita nga natin siya, minsan gagamit na rin sila ng full court press, which nung una, yes. unang pagpasok na sa UCBL, yun yung gumulat talaga dito sa St. Joseph. Teams were pressing on them and they were having a difficult time na makitawin na yung bola. And ito, siguro natututo na rin sila kung paano mag-full court press sa ibang mga teams. At ito, they just forced a turnover and a three-pointer by their star player. And the Guin gets the lead para sa St. Joseph. They're extending their defense now. A 1-2-2 two, two trap. Villanueva hanging in the air. Good steady defense. Mula kay Esteban. LPU. A little bit flat. In breaking, trying to break the, the zone press of St. Joseph. They need to attack it more and move the ball. Back to back. Six point lead para sa St. Joseph. Papapanawag na maangang time as si Coach Gio Ludovice ng LPU. Ito yung nauna, binigyan ng espasyo si Eli Leguin and he finds the bottom of the net. Sa susunod, siya naman ang nag-set up kay Adriano. And alam mo, the rule is, you put your hands down and you get shot over. 11-5 lead para sa St. Joseph.
Nagbabalik ang UCBL 2018. Dito lamang yan sa Action TV. Huling laro na ng Eliminations Round para sa season na ito. At ito ay LPU Batangas laban sa St. Joseph College of Bulacan. Never say die pa rin ang mantra ng St. Joseph College na naghahanap pa din ng panalo. Sabi ni Coach Noel Legin, hindi man sila pinalad ngayong season, ay naghahanda na sila para sa susunod. Sa katunayan, nag-recruit na sila ng import at patuloy na naghahanap pa ng big men sa Bulacan para magpatibay sa kanilang koponan. On the other hand, preparation sa din ang nasa isip ni Coach Gina Lyceum na excited na nga daw sa off-season. Although both teams still want to end this season positively. Jot and Jai? Nagkaroon na ng commotion dito as I think Castro felt na tinulak ni Bernal si Alamo the replay, kita natin medyo may tulak nga dun and then, that's a dangerous play medyo swerte itong player ng St. Joseph dahil nangyari yun in front of the bench of LPU but you see there, ang unang tawag agad ng referee a disqualif yes. disqualifying foul on Castro and do you think that has what Castro did has the grounds for that? Well, well I have to see it again on, on, on the replay. Pero alam mo naman, pag mainit na yung laban, you know, referees, they want to control the situation right away. They're going to call something. Pero mas importante dito, nire-review na nila ngayon kung ano talaga nangyari. I think that will, obviously, Jay, it will at least be a technical foul yes. on Castro. Now, if it turns out to be a disqualifying foul, Baka may case din eh, because that was really uncalled for. Sige, baka tinulak si Alamo, yes. but there was no need to try and spark something more. Dahil hindi nga nag si Alamo eh. Totoo yan. You know, the last thing we want to see in a basketball game or any sporting event given is magkaroon ng commotion. Because, we're, you know, we're playing sports to build up camaraderie, teamwork, and show people that they were working hard. And this is the last thing that we want to see. Absolutely. Well, referees are making sure everything is in check here in the Ayos Nanila. They're just about ready to make their decision. This will be interesting kung magkaroon bigla ng foul or anything on Bertal. Dahil initially, wala naman. That's a fourth shot. And foul on number six, Lowell Castro. That's his first first foul. Team foul number three on the Pirates. So that, that, that's it, I guess. No call against Bernal. Which could be largely because nung una naman wala tawag. Walang tawag talaga. Parang mahirap yatang ihabol yun. When yes, totoo. It Not would have given a lot of advantage towards LPU. But, but, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure kung pwede mong ka nga magdagdag ng foul oh, call. Eh. After you watch the replay, this is the last game of the season. We don't know kung i-review ng officials natin. Any repercussions for next season? Pero buti na lang, walang natuloy na away. Oh nga eh. I also want to give a bit of credit dito kay Bernal because it's so easy na mag-init as I remind you first that UCBL 2018 season is supported by Jerry's Grill. Ang daling mag-retaliate, ang daling mag-init ng ulo kapag binangga ka ng ganun eh. But... He was just relaxed. May sinabing onte, which we we cannot uh, say anymore. Dahil hindi rin natin alam ko ano talaga yung sinabi niya, but he was relaxed. <laughs> Lazy play goes on. And for St. Joseph, you have a good momentum. And in that sequence, medyo nakalamang pa nga sila. Getting the technical goal and a three-pointer. And in Egan, pangalawang tres niya dito sa ating first quarter. Big possession for them. Lamang kaagad sila ngayon by 9 points. And they're gonna force another turnover for LPU. And Adriano will go all the way. Layup in Iluluwa, but Salazar was there to mop up the men. This is definitely the best basketball I've seen St. Joseph play the whole season of the UCPL. And we'll go naman to LPU. Dapat mas maging aggressive pa dahil 1-2-2 press. Since the start of the ball game, they have not been able to break it properly. Maganda yung depends ang alang doon ni Saliente. He made Legin think twice kung anong uh, gagawin niya. Initially, parang ibibigay niya yung lane. And then, went out to the to the outside shooter, went back. So, nagulo si Legin and committed turnover. Yes, good read by the defender right there. Not committing to anything and he was able to defend two guys in one play. 18 to 7. Lamang St. Joseph right now. Castro. 
allowing Saliente to feed it to the post. Macias misses. Rebound taken by St. Joseph. Etong Torres, they have been a lot more aggressive to begin this game. Nice no look pass by Legin, pero hindi na shoot yung layup. Na nakakatuwa sa St. Joseph. The whole season, they have been dominated in the offensive glass and in the paint. Pero this game, hindi sila pumapayag dun. I thought that was a travel mula kay Saliente getting getting rejected and went down with the basketball. Pero good job for him not to stop yes. without hearing a whistle. Yeah, sabi mo nga kanina, golden rules of basketball. Pag walang pito, do not stop playing. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Siyam na lang ang kalamangan ngayon ng St. Joseph. Castro ginugulo ni Legit. Good individual play right there for Castro. Pero yung itong opensa ng LPU, medyo hindi pa sigurado sa kanilang gagawin. Buti na lang, magaling naman lalaro talaga ito si Castro. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. Adriano, tira mula sa labas, kapos. Four minutes and change remaining in the first period. Tagli mula sa kanan, his three-pointer finds the bottom of the net. That's a good pass right there for Castro. That defense from St. Joseph, we're kind of feeling a momentum shift to the side of LPU. As St. Joseph calls this timeout. 18 to 14, ang lamang nila, thanks. Ang lamang ng St. Joseph, they led by 11 earlier, but it was cut by back-to-back -back hits mula sa LPU. The floater from Castro, tapos itong tres mula kay Eman Tagle. This time out is brought to you by Jerry's Grill. The first time this, uh, that these two teams met, it was LPU Batangas dominating St. Joseph. They used their size yeah, to nga, get the advantage. Yeah, usapan natin kanina pa. Yung, yung size advantage talaga ng LPU, kailangan nilang gamitin sa game na to. Just like in the first meet, meeting, dominating in the points in the paint and the, and the rebounds. Legit, isa na naman mula sa labas. That's a miss for him. He knocked down two though. No. Saliente to the cutting Messina. St. Joseph is getting a lot of steals here, actually. I was Salarza. just gonna say, na medyo nakukuha na ng LPU, yung rhythm nila on offense. But another turnover for them, again, unforced turnover for me. They have to take care of the basketball if they want to win this ball game. Legit. Tried the skip pass, pero napigilan. Ay, bigay niya pa rin naman kay Taverner. Three seconds. Legit. Gets Castro up on the fake, pero hindi papasok yung kanyang tres. Now, LPU on the break. Good pass by Castro right there for the easy. Okay, it was a three-on-one break. At wala nang nagawa ang St. Joseph para mapigilan yun. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Happy Toothpaste. St. Joseph started, started out the game very strong. A lot of energy. Pero ngayon, medyo bumababa na ang momentum nila. And dumilipat na sa LPU with a lot of fast break conversions. Legin to Salarza. Was blocked there. This is a 9 to nothing run para sa LPU. Can they add more? Axalan, kapos sa kanyang layup. Good pass right there for Castro. 2 and 20 remaining sa ating first quarter. Salarza mula sa labas. Couldn't get it. Esteban working hard. The rebound is a putback. Esteban. Good composure for Esteban. Getting the offensive rebound. Di siya nagmadali. Up fake, one dribble, easy to. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Cafe France. Leggy taking the ball away again. Pero kanina pa natin pinag-usapan. Pag merong full court trap, whether it's a zone or a man trap, stay away from the sidelines. And when you cross half court, wag kang titigil near the half court line. Seventh turnover na yun. Chay, ng LPU Patangas. Also the fourth steal ng St. Joseph. Oh, isipin natin na itong St. Joseph ang magta-turnover ng marami. But it is the only way around here. Kaya tayo ka naman ka St. Joseph. Pero nagka-defensive laps doon as they left. Tagle open doon sa kanto. And if there's one man you don't want to leave open from behind the three-point arc, it's Eman Tagle. Pagbabayaran ka talaga ng mamang yan pag nilibre siya sa three-pointer. Salarza tried to break down the defense of LPU Patangas. He drew a foul on Saliente. 
That time, the previous play you mentioned, a good defense that he stunted to the driving man. And bumalik siya ka sa kanyang defender to force the turn. Pero ngayon, bad decision, fouling the offensive guy. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Adlines. Si Coach Noel Legin, mukhang bibigyan ng pagkakataon ang lahat ng mga manlalaro niya, makakuha ng experience at nantikim ng laro dito sa kanilang last game of UCBL Season 3. The platoon substitu substitution is a player lang na iwan for St. Joseph. And definitely, kailangan na nila ng fresh legs dahil medyo mababa ng momento. Yeah. Isa nga lang yung iniwan niya, but it was Taverner. And Taverner, bago pumasok yung apat na kasama yung sasahig ngayon, just replaced Adriano. So, it's a fresh five for Legin. 2-3 zone, yes. 2-3 zone for St. Joseph. LPU just not executing their plays properly. Parang naghuhulaan sila kung saan ang mga pwesto ng kanilang mga teammates. Sabi nga natin kanina, Jai, di ba? They cannot take this opponent lightly. Lalo na gutom sa isang panalo. And this is their only chance. Only last chance for them to get a win in the UCBL season. Lorenzano was top. Castro leading the break. Castro, one man fast break. Gets fouled at the basket. The long free throws. It's Ira Nidoel. He is. He looks very eager. Na makabawi dun sa subpar output niya in their previous match. And I think for Castro, even though he had such a bad game in their last outing, kita kita mo naman that you know he's really in shape. He runs the floor very well. Distributes the ball to his teammates really good. And I think it's just a matter of time before this guy is a big time player. Produkto ng Bukidnon. Very steady guard. Yes, good. And one of the things we would like to see for LPU is kung merong mga players na galing dito sa LPU Batangas na makakaangat dun sa kanilang mother school. As you mentioned, nakasayang. They entered the championship, pero kinapos lang sila. I'm sure for most, if not all, of these pirates from LPU Batangas. You know, you know, to, to step up. But this is already an excellent avenue for them, the UCBL, to showcase their talents. Governor will miss from outside. We're seeing St. Joseph take a lot of three-pointers in the first quarter. Yes, with their size, they're a lot smaller than LPU. It's imperative for them to hit their outside shots if they want to indeed get their first win in this tournament. Five seconds na lang na iiwan para sa LPU. Castro will have to make something happen here, but an offensive foul away from the play itatawag kay Masias. For LPU, they're executing against the zone defense uh, against St. Joseph. They're moving the ball up top, pero hindi nila nahihit ang post para lumuwang yung defense ng St. Joseph. That buzzer signals the end of the first quarter. Lamang ang St. Joseph by one point, 22 to 21. It was actually up to 11 earlier, but a strong surge mula sa LPU ang nagbalik sa kanila dito sa ating laro. Balik tayo sa aksyon ng UCBL Season 3. Venue as always is Malivares College Gymnasium. But the students here becoming fans of all the other teams ng UCBL. Ngayon ang chinichair nila, St. Joseph and LPU Batangas. Basta basketball, pupuntahan talaga ng mga tao. Especially, we're seeing good quality basketball right here. Even though these teams are not going to make the final four, they, sti they still want to end on a positive note. On your screens are the field goal shooting of both teams in the first quarter. And tama ka, Jai. Mahal lang talaga ng Pilipino ang basketball. Makikita mo nga yung mga laro sa kalye na not yep. even 
hindi man ano, enter barangay or anything. Mga magkakaibigan lang na nagtitri on three. May nanonood pa rin eh. Oh, for me, that's the, the most pure, purest way of basketball. And for me, it's the most fun. Lahat tayo dyan nagsimula. Whether nasa NBA ka, nasa PBA, nasa kahit anong liga pa, nagsimula ka ng maglaro ng basketball sa Cali. Absolutely. And I'm really a fan of how streetball is literally streetball sa Pilipinas. Yeah. As in, sa kalsada ka talaga. Kasi pag sa states, di ba, sabi mong streetball. Nasa ano kayo? Park. Park. Nag-aged park. Cementong ka nila laro. Ang ganda maayos dito yung streetball. Titigil yung laro kasi may coaching dadaan. Ganon kamahal ng mga Pilipino yung laro talaga. Walang magpapatigil. Kahit na minsan nga, nasasagasaan yung mga tao. Tuloy pa rin ang laro eh. You know, it's funny kasi minsan, if you're the driver of the car, mafufrustrate ka. Madaan naman ako. But then, yung maaalala mo rin yung mga times na ikaw yung ikaw naglalaro doon. Ah! tutorial dun. I've been at both ends. You know, as you see, pace picking up here, especially for St. Joseph. They're moving the ball well. Pero kita nga natin yung field goal shooting nila. Hindi yeah. masyado maganda, but that three-pointer will definitely improve the cost for them. Ian Lorzano, nagkambag ng kanyang three-pointer. And that gives a bit of some breathing room para sa St. Joseph. Angat na namang nila to six points. Taverner naman, susubok na yun! Back to back, three pointers na naman para sa St. Joseph. Ito na very, very evident, the improvement of St. Joseph, not just in their shooting and individual skills, pero ito, nakapag-force na talaga sila ng turnovers with their 1-2-2 half-court press, falling back into a 1-2-2 half-court defense. Agle, giving it to Castro. Lowell looking to take over here, but it's a miss, and Intal couldn't quite get a hold of it. Pero last touch din naman si Lowell Castro. For LPU, their offense is going to be created by number six, Castro, and everyone has to feed off of his playmaking and creating. At magbibigay nga ng mga paalala si Coach Gio Ludovice, as you see the back-to-back -back hits na ipinasok ng St. Joseph as they built now a nine-point lead. May timeout tayo. Hatid sa inyo ng Jerry's Grill. LPU Batangas, sinusubukan pa rin makahabol dito sa ating laban. This is the last game of the elimination round. And we are set to the final four. Ang papasok ay number one seed, Deliman College. Number two, ang CEU Scorpions. Number three, ang Olivares. And number four, ang TIP. But you see that St. Joseph, no plans of relaxing and just cruising through this game. They want that first win. Tama ka. Even though they, both of these teams di papasok sa final four, they are still giving the energy na parang meron pa silang mga next ball game. And siguro, last game mo na nga of the season, you want to make the most out of it. Lorzano, who hit a three-pointer kanina lamang, pinapressure nila pasaran. Seven and a half minutes left in the first half. Taverner, almost sa kanyang tres. Story of the ball game so far. LPU shooting 47% from the field, pero they only have 17 attempts. Meanwhile, tong St. Joseph 41% lang from the field, pero meron silang 24 attempts. Dahil marami nga silang nga force na turnovers off of their full course press. It has been the determining factor dito sa ating aro kung bakit may lamang. St. Joseph, and if they're not hitting three pointers, they are getting three-point play opportunities. That time, it was Jonathan Intal. Parang yung Intal na napapanood at naging kakampi ko to, ha? Sino, Rex? JC Intal pala. Pwede tayo maspike ni Rex. But look at that move, no? He was just so confident. Nakita na single coverage lang yung marap sa kanya. Knew that he could take his defender. And yung maganda doon. Even with the contact, he was able to go up strong to the basket for the three-point play. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Maxell Power Tools. 1-2-2, sort of 1-3-1 press. 
Hindi, hindi ko masyadong alam yung press ng St. Joseph. Pero it doesn't really matter as nakapag-force na ng turnovers and uh, results into two points again. We're seeing them switch it up. Ito parang 1 to 1 one yung gagamitin nila. And siguro dun din nalilito nga ang LP Batangas. But they see that opening. Alamo could not finish. And he will take two free throws. At that, that, that time, that's a perfect example of how, how LP wants to bring this half-court press of St. Joseph. It's a bit of space for you to attack if, if there's a half-court zone defense. So you have to move the ball, hit the big guy in the middle for him for the defense. Alamo at the line. Medyo malaki ang size advantage nito ni Alamo. Compared to frontliners ng St. Joseph, so definitely that's one of the things na dapat i-maximize ng LPU. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Cherry's Grill. Do you feel, would you say na hindi pa na ma-maximize ng LPU yung advantage nila dito sa laro ka? Yes, definitely in their matchup in the first round, yun yung ginamit nila, rebounds and points in the paint. Pero ngayon na itong St. Joseph, medyo nagpo-full court press at nagto-turnover ang LPU. There's no way for them so far to maximize their size and heft down. Oh, this could be a start for them. Mukhang naka-alert na ang LPU after that lead of St. Joseph reached a high of 14 points. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. I'm not sure kung Coach Gio Lugovisi will play the entire game with Mercedes Voluta, yung kanilang import on the bench, but he hasn't removed his warmer for a single second. Yes, we don't know if he has an injury or, or the coach really just wants to give his other players a little bit of more of playing time given that this is the last game of the season. Napasaran. Nice move. Splitting the defense. And just enough muster on that shot para pumasok in there. You know, if you play against a 2-3 zone or any zone, for a while, eventually you're gonna figure it out where the, especially where the, the spaces are and the openings are, and eventually you're gonna take advantage of it. In town, sinubuko na namang mga butas na makakatake doon, pero there was help defense this time. Forcing the ball out of bounds, ball will stay with St. Joseph. UCBL 28 season is supported by Happy Toothpaste. Siyam na segundo na iiwan sa shot clock ng St. Joseph. And I like the energy of the Tungan. Every time he gets the ball, you know, downhill, he's playing downhill, putting pressure on the defense and hitting tough shots. Kanina, Jai, naka-atake siya and he was able to get a three-point play. Ngayon naman, nandun yung depensa, forced him away from the basket, still got the fall away. Yep. On the other hand, ang nakasabi natin, LPU is slowly but surely figuring out the half-court defense of St. Joseph. Lincoln was fouled by Dalik Dig. Too pesky on the defensive end. They're big improvement by the guards here of St. Joseph. Dati, to start the season, medyo na nararatil sila on, on offense. Pero ngayon, composed na composed sila. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Cafe France. Cross court by the baseline of Mimites ang St. Joseph. Gives another chance para sa LPU na tumakbo. I thought Lekin tried to give up a foul. But look at that putback. Nice push right there from La Pasara. The behind the, the back move was on point. Kahit na na-miss niya yung, yung layup na yun, it opened up for an offensive rebound. Lekin straight to the rack. Look at that little man coming with a big play. On the other hand, di naman magpapatalo to star player ng St. Joseph all the way to the basket. What a nice move. And we're just seeing very fast-paced basketball. Balikan lang ng balikan jai. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Adlites. You know, just fast-paced basketball. Ito talaga yung masarap maglaro as a player. You know, you have the freedom to do what you want. But at the same time, you also have the responsibility for, to your team to make good decisions. Masarap yung ganyang pace kapag condition game. Pero yes. pag... Uh, Ikaw, pagka halimbawa, siyam na player condition, tapos ikaw lang yung hindi. <laughs> ikaw yung mukhang kawa, hindi masarap yung pace na yun. Relax lang, laro-laro <laughs> lang to. <laughs> ikaw yung sumisigaw ng ganun eh, pag, pag hindi ka condition eh. Definitely itong mga batang to, sobrang condition. This is what they love to do, and they find time for, for them to be able to get in shape. When you were playing college basketball in particular, what was 
the what was your routine? How you were fit for all five years? Well, it's tough because you have to go to class. And throughout the day, it's your responsibility actually to keep your body right, get the proper amount of fluids and food. But after class, you know, puro basketball, so talaga yung training, and yung malaking bagay dun. It's during the summer, as we see another team from St. Joseph. Itong both teams, they're gonna go into off-season again after this game. And dun ka talaga pwede mo pakapusha. Masaran with an athletic layup there. But that was after another three-pointer mula sa St. Joseph, courtesy of J.P. Adriano. It continues to be the weapon China St. Joseph you know, three-point shooting. It was their sixth three-pointer in 15 tries. 40% shooting, that's pretty respectable. Yes, of course, especially at this level. Uh, given the limited attacks nila and options down low, they're still able to get, to get uh, good shots from them. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Holy Cow Sticks, Rems and Chops. Tatlong sunod-sunod na follower, well, hindi naman talaga sunod-sunod. Quick points, consecutive na kinuha ni Daligdig and that's why yung team niya in penalty na rin and Eli Legit is at the free throw line. Oh, 10 point lead pa rin for St. Joseph. Pero yung maganda, uh, hindi lang sa simula ng ball game na maganda yung pinakita nila. Akala natin nakukunin na ng LP yung kalamangan when they had their run of their own. Pero right now, St. Joseph is being able to sustain this, this good pace. And Legit continues to go to work para sa St. Joseph. Now with these turnovers, that, you know, for me, it's really unforced and they, they can avoid it. Let me walk you through what the stat line of Eli Legit. 14 points, 4 assists, 2 steals. Second quarter, pa lang tayo. he also has knocked down 2 3 pointers. He really is the, 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 the life the St. Joseph team. If he plays well, they have a chance to win. That's what he's doing, providing para sa kanya. St. Joseph, another steal, this one. Forced by Salarza, kaso nagka-counter theft. Ang LPU, Lapasaran with a strong attack, using that spin. Alian will head to the line for a pair. To LPU. They're using the dribble to break the half-court trap of, of St. Joseph. And I'm not sure if that's the best decision against this kind of press. I think it's better to move the ball, especially in a 1-2-2 type of trap. Hit the middle guy so that the defense collapses and everyone else is free. Lapasaran averages 10.5 points dito sa ating tournament. Already has eight. Pero yung tiniteng nila ng kanyang LPU Batanga still a 10-point bubble favoring St. Joseph of Bulacan. Ito ko na. I, I think off of free throws, ito talaga ang game plan ng LPU. To impose a full court press and it's been successful for them. Saliente, napakagat yung depensa. He gets to the rack and scores on the lane. Down to single digits ang kabante ng St. Joseph, 45-37. This time out is brought to you by Cherry's Grill. Magbabalik po ang UCBL Season 3. Look at the three players na isa lang ang naipasok kontra sa Diliman. And that really led the downfall of Lyceum Patangas in that game. Very poor field goal shooting for, for LP for these three players. And you know, kung ganito ang, ang ititira ng mga main guys mo, medyo mahirapan ka talagang makapanalo. That's right. And for more on Arsene Mulunda, isama natin si Danny sa usapan.
Yes, Shotin Jai, makikita nga natin na hindi naglalaro si LPU Batangas import Arsene Molunda at hindi dahil sa injuries, kundi dahil apparently he forgot to bring his jersey today. Wow, that is probably the worst turnover of this game yet. You know, interestingly so, it, it has already happened to me a couple of times. So you know, AAP Pato, when I was in high school, Buti na lang, uh, after those levels, medyo yung team na yung nagdadala ng jerseys para walang makakalimot sa Sino ang coach mo nun? <laughs> si Coach Jabike, so talagang hindi ako naka... <laughs> now, now, I next question coach. ko, yes. anong sabi ni Coach Jabike sa'yo? Ano, kunin mo yung jersey mo. <laughs> Buti na lang, umabot pa ako nun. Half time, I was able to play the third quarter. You know, a quick story then on that, Jai. It happens to the best of teams. Kilas Pilipinas, when they were playing in Lebanon, hindi naman sa naiwan yung jersey, but they brought the wrong Mali. jersey. So yes. parang parehong teams, they were playing against Jordan like at that time. Parehong naka-dark jersey. So Gilas, yung utility manager ng Gilas, na si Bong Tulabot, had to go, back. go back to the hotel, which was about an hour away. Yes. Para kunin yung tamang jersey ng ating team. Yung mahirap dyan is na yung focus eh. Wala ka sa focus sa game. And <laughs> very unfortunate for LPU. What's fortunate, however, for St. Joseph is that Legin is able to get another layup coming off more turnovers para dito sa LPU. And yet again, another error. Uh, let me ask you, yung, yung absence ni Mulunda, nagkakaroon ba ng impact in what we're seeing? What sort yes. of flat basketball na nilalaro so far, ha? Yeah, but, but eh, pati kung nandiyan siya, hindi makakapasok ng ganyang kadali ang yeah. St. Joseph. As you see, another basket from, from Mental. The defense of LPU definitely much, much better when they have their import on the floor. At kahit yung mga mid-rangers na yun, yung mga 10, 12-footers, kayang abutin yan ni Mulunda. Yeah. Hindi man niya masapal, he will definitely change the shot of the offensive players. Daligig hasn't had the kindest of afternoons. JP Adriano, nakita yung depensa ng LPU, wisely pulling back and involving his teammates. Legit setting things up. Papasok sana kay Esteban, I'm not sure Chris Esteban anticipated and was ready for that. That's a tough pass from, from Leg Legit. And you know, uh, two three zone defense na pinapakita ng LPU dito. No need to rush against the zone. You need to move the ball. Good tap mula kay Intal. Na recover ng LPU. Daligdig sends it to Saliente. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Romel, iniikot ang bola. Lands back with his hands. Saliente, the kick out. Jay Axalan couldn't get it. Good shot there for LPU. They didn't make it. But the dribble drive, drawing the defense and kicking out for an open three is always a good shot for your team. A minute and change remaining in the first half. Adriano, he's going to get the Back to him, JP spots Intal and that's the second consecutive jumper that he had from the short corner. Definitely playing his best game of the season. Talaga aggressive tong si Intal. Gusto makakuha ng unang panalo for St. Joseph. At kahit yung mga good looks dito ng LPU Batangas, they're just not falling in, Jai. Yes, and the, we see a double foul right here. Both players jockeying for position, the rebound. Ang ganda lang talaga ng energy ng St. Joseph here in the second quarter. Ang laki na ng lamang nila. And sana tuloy-tuloy. I remember no, no, the top of this coverage, you were saying that the most impressive thing you saw from St. Joseph in this tournament is laban lang ng laban. Totoo yan. Pero for this game, yun rin naman ang ginagawa nila. Laban lang ng laban. Pero siguro unconsciously, hindi nila nakikita to. Pero nag-improve na talaga sila dahil sigil lang sila na sigil throughout the season. A turnover for the Torres, however. And Saliente gets fouled by Salarza. Medyo hindi na gusto ni Saliente yung foul na yun by Salarza. But you know, you're the, the defender, you have to make sure na walang end one play. Hindi rin na gusto ng isang fan ng oh, oh. <laughs> LPU Batangas. But it's part of basketball. And kanina nga, back in the first quarter, we saw... Sure, um, Bernal got away with a push yes. on Alamo. And then pinangga siya ni Lowell Castro. But after that, nung inayos na mga referee, they were just back to playing basketball as the game should be played. Kasama talaga sa basketball, you know, one way or the other, you're gonna get hit. 
if you don't want to you don't want to get hurt you can play this game and yung maganda doon they're able to continue on the game and focus that's minsan nga for these players yung mga tinatamaan lalo pang gumaganda ang laro sa Larsa na hanap sa ilalim si Esteban and inabot siya ni Messina it's gonna be two free throws for Chris Esteban Good one man the press break uh, from Solarza right there, dribbling through the defenders and making a good decision to drop it down low. Pinag uusapan natin kanina na yung height advantage, not only ng LPU Batangas, but really every team in the UCPL over St. Joseph. Oh, etong si Esteban stands at 6'2, and he's already the tallest guy on the team. So, mga ibang teams, siguro wing players lang yan, yeah. nakita si Harry and all these other guys, very long. Pero medyo sanay na rin siguro yung St. Joseph dito. Playing all smaller against all, all their, their, their teams. And they're making it to work it to their advantage here. And yes, it's the effort really that has allowed St. Joseph to fight and fight and get a 12-point lead at the half over LPU Panangas. First time I've seen St. Joseph have this kind of lead going into the halftime and they look to push harder in the third quarter. 53 to 41, yan po ang abante ng Taurus of Bulacan. We'll talk more about how they performed in the first half in just a bit. kung gaano nila kagusto ang laban na ito at kung gaano sila kapursigido. At dahil dyan, ito ang PBA First 5 ni Ellie Legi ng isa sa mga sharpshooters ng St. Joseph College. Let's watch this video. Ako po si Ellie Joseph Legi ng St. Joseph College of Bulacan at ito po ang aking PBA First 5. Ang napili ko po sa point guard position ay si L.A. Tenorio dahil sa kakaya niyang mag-orchestrate ng plays at sa kanyang ability sa 3 points at ang kanyang pambansang reverse. At sa shooting guard po, ang napili ko po ay si Marshall Lasseter dahil po siya po ay pure shooter and also defender at gusto ko ang kanyang step back jumper. Para sa small forward, ang napili ko po ay si Scotty Thompson dahil sa kanyang rebounding, defense, at siya na rin ang nagiging puso ng Inebra. Ang aking power forward position ay si Japet Aguilar dahil sa kanyang ability sa dunk, rebound, and shot blocking. At may shooting din siya sa perimeter. Ang aking center ay si Junmar Pahardo. Ang nagusto ko sa kanya ay ang kanyang low post, rebound, kaya niyang bantayan ng mga imports. Ako po muli si Eli Joseph Legin ng St. Joseph College of Bulacan. At yun po ang aking PBA first fight. We're one game away from the semifinals, kaya patuloy nating tutukan at subaybayan ng UCBL. Dito lang yan sa Action TV. Kaya ngayon naman ay balikan natin si Jot at Jai para sa first half game analysis.
you are not looking at a wrong graphic. After 20 minutes of play, St. Joseph College of Bulacan ang lamang over LPU Batangas. 53-41, to shot sulit Jai Reyes. Miss Danny Nakpil uh, manning the sidelines here. And Jai, although nagugulat rin ang uh, karamihan, oh, eh, honestly, pati tayo eh. <laughs> Part na gulat na lumawang ang St. Joseph. The way they came out in this game, ramdam mo yung gigil at guto makakuha ng panalo. You know, if you're watching this ball game, as we see here in the highlights, ang ganda ng nilalaro ng St. Joseph. They're forcing a lot of turnovers through their 1-2-2 half-court press. And nakita nga natin dito, they have more field goal attempts in this game and they're shooting the ball much, much better than LPU Batangas. Well, here's the story in terms of numbers or halftime statistics brought to you by Maxell Power Tools. Yung turnovers nga na binanggit mo, no? and it has been extra possessions allowing St. Joseph for more looks and more shots taken and bigger output in terms of points. Well, apat na turnover lang ang, ang difference in terms of the, these two teams. Pero yung mas importante dito is nakaka-convert ka ba pag nagpo-force ka ng turnovers. And dun mas malaki ang lamang ng St. Joseph of Bulacan. They have 22 points off of turnovers and 13 points lang ang off, points off of turnover, turnovers ng LPU Batangas. Yung isa pang hindi natin nakikita ngayon dyan, Jai, is the rebound count. In the first meeting of these two teams, talagang dinominate ng LPU in the rebounding department ng St. Joseph. Pero although lamang pa rin ang Pirates ngayon, just by one